Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about normalized confusion matrix and why do we need it? First of all, consider this example. As you can see, here is a simple confusion matrix, which we have A, B, C, D, E as our actual labels, and these are the predicted labels. So for example, here, 79 cases, there are 79 cases, which the actual label is A, and the predicted label is a and etc. But as you can see, this is 79 cases out of 100 cases. So for example, if you sum the numbers in this row, you can see the sum of this row is 100. So yes, it is 79, but 79 out of 100 cases was truly predicted A. But this one, 48, as you can see, we have 48 out of 50. If you sum the numbers of this row, you can see the sum of this row is 50. So as you can see, this is 48 out of 50, which means that 96 percentages of class B was truly predicted B and etc. So it's very obvious that we need normalized confusion matrix because it shows the percentages. For example, here we see 79, but here's a question, 79 out of what? This is 48, but here's a question, 48 out of what? So here's 48 out of 50, and this is 79 out of 100. So we use normalized confusion matrix in order to get percentages instead of the numbers. So here's how to build the normalized confusion matrix. As you can see, here's a confusion matrix. And if you sum this row, you can see the sum of this row is 100. So you're going to divide each number in this row by 100, which you, which we, which you will get something like this. And if you sum the numbers in this row, you can see the output is 50. So if I divide each number in this row by 50, you will get something like this, and you will do the same thing for the other rows. So now let's see how we can create a normalized confusion matrix in Python programming language. So before going further, let's run this code and see the confusion matrix. As you can see, here's the confusion matrix. And first of all, we should sum of each row. We should calculate the sum of each row. So we import numpy as np, and then we simply type np.sum because you want to calculate the sum of our confusion matrix. Cm is our confusion matrix, which we have talked in the previous videos. And we are going to use access equal to one. So if I print this one, if I print this line, and if I run the code, you can see here is our confusion matrix, and these are the values, I mean the sum of each row. The sum of this row is 59, and the sum of this row is 41. But there is a problem with this, and the problem is this, that it's a one-dimensional array, but we don't want a one-dimensional array, we want to convert it to a two-dimensional array, like a matrix. But as you can see, we want to convert it to a column-wise matrix, a column-wise array. So we simply type dot reshape because we want to reshape this stuff and we want to reshape it like this. It says that we want to convert it to one column and whatever rows it's going to have. We don't care about the rows, but it is going to be in one column. So it's going to be a column-wise vector, a column-wise array. Now, if I run the code, you can see here is the result, and you can see that we have converted that one-dimensional array to a two-dimensional array, which is column-wise. So now it's time to divide this confusion matrix by th these numbers in order to get a normalized confusion matrix. So we simply type CM divided by this stuff, and let's print something. So this is normalized confusion matrix. So if I run the code, you can see here is the output. And for example, if you want to round these numbers, you can simply type, for example, mp.round because you want to round these numbers up to two decimal places. And if I run the code again, you can see here are the results. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about how to plot a heat map in order to better illustrate the results.